The idea for this song is called Consume Us, and the idea came at home before the retreat. I was just sitting at my piano, um, just spending some time with the Lord, and um, just this desire almost to just have the Lord's like refining and purifying fire. So the chorus sort of just came to me then, you know, Consume Us, now living fire, come and be our one desire. Um, the three of us came together and kind of just crafted. And then we all kind of just stood in there and had chords just keep playing that progression. And we just started just worshiping God. And then you could really start feel, I think each of us started feeling like when some words started to come, even in our, our worship, when it starts talking about when your voice speaks, I can feel it in my bones. And it references Jeremiah, you know, the fire of the bones. I think Riley said, we would talk about wrestling that second half of that chorus. And she said, maybe we should just repeat that, you know? And I think it was right just to feel that. If, if we're going by the Word of God and understanding the Word of God, the Bible says He's an all-consuming fire. I know there's some language that can sometimes be scary for people, but I think in the right context, you know, an all-consuming fire uh, basically just means everything. And I know different people come for little pieces of this and that, maybe for themselves, but an all-consuming fire doesn't pick just health. He doesn't pick just finances. All-consuming means He wants everything. You know, bottom line, I think if, if people are hungry for God and they're, they're looking for more, I think we should always be progressing forward in our walk with the Lord. And I think He's always wanting to take us to new places. And sometimes, I've learned for me, like sometimes that requires me to step out of my comfort zone a little yeah. bit and embrace something that may be unfamiliar to me. But in the middle of it, I find the Lord and I find exactly what He had for me. Yeah. And, um, you know, my prayer would definitely be that songs that we write that kind of push the envelope a little bit would lead people to that place of you know, stretching their understanding of, of who the Lord is. I think the congregation sometimes needs to, um, or the church needs to stop listening so much and start really entering into their own worship and have their own experience with God. And um, I feel like this is a really cool um, opportunity. There's some really great opportunities in this song to, to really do that. Oh, we burn for